And the chakras are again areas of energy that we can use um, during breast cancer treatment. The two I've found most powerful in breast cancer are Manipur, our center of power and courage, and Anahat, our, power, our sense of love, compassion for ourselves and others. It's a little practice with Anahat and Manipur. So again, take a comfortable seat. We're going to be sitting with our eyes closed and then we're going to stand or you can remain sitting. So feet, knees, hips in alignment, a mudra of your choice, sit comfortably. Shoulders back, spine lengthening. Scan the physical body again. If you find any tension, release it. Be aware of your thoughts and ideas now. Accept them and then let go the thought of them. Be aware also of your current emotion. And let go your awareness of that. Be aware of your belly area, that area between the navel and the spine. In yoga terms, we call this Manipur. It's the front, the navel area, and the point on the spine are the two locations of Manipur chakra. Manipur means city of jewels, which is lovely. Other traditions have this too. Even the ancient Greeks, it's the solar plexus. So it's believed this is our sense of self-power our ability to move on when we need to, to find direction, to find that will, that determination. In my experience with dealing with women undergoing or who've undergone treatment for breast cancer, this is a highly developed chakra area. I see their courage, their resilience, their ability to get up and go on. So be aware of this area and just go to the level of practice that we're going to do that's right for you. So feel that area of the navel and feel the area behind it on the spine. Imagine these two areas being connected perhaps by a tunnel or a channel of golden energy. Golden energy connecting the navel to the corresponding point on the spine, flowing, rich, vibrant, golden energy. And if this is strong enough for you, focus on that. If you want to go to the next stage, As you breathe in, imagine this energy flowing, navel to spine. And as you breathe out, imagine the energy, spine to navel. Breathing in, navel to spine. Breathing out, spine to navel. The breath is the time of the flow of the energy. The flow of the energy is the time of the breath. If practices ever feel a strain, don't do them. Think of your happiest memory instead. Otherwise, gently, softly follow the breath and the flow of energy. And if this practice is strong enough for you, continue it. Those who want to can see whatever symbol you know as the symbol of Manipur Chakra. For me, it's a ten petal yellow flower, in the middle of which is a flaming sun. Those who know more details, see your details. And focus on your flower, perhaps opening on the breath in, 
and gently closing on the breath out or just pulsing with energy. And those who like mantra, if you want to, mantra is a sacred sound. In Sanskrit, the language is onomatopoeic, so the sound has strong power. And the mantra for this area is rum. Rum. And you can repeat that silently in your mind's ear if you'd like to or not. Do whichever practice is right for you for a little longer. And then after your next exhalation or next mantra, cease this technique, feel the effect. Take a moment to feel your courage, your internal power, your ability to move on. And be aware now of your heart center. Feel the area in the middle of your chest, connecting to the same area on the spine, the spinal location. Again, feel or imagine a tunnel or channel of golden energy moving from the chest to the spine, the spine to the chest. Rich flowing energy in our heart. These are called shuddhi or energy channels. This is Anahat Chakra, mm. the energy area for the heart, compassion to ourselves and to others, confidence, joy, sorrow. And if you want to add the flow of the breath with the flow of the energy, please do. Breathing in chest to spine with the energy, breathing out spine to chest. And those who have a symbol attached to Anahat may like to see it pulsing there. For me it's the 12 petaled blue flower in the middle of which are two interlacing triangles in the middle of which is a steady non-attached non-flickering flame. This is the Jivatman I talked about earlier our divine inner self knower of everything that's right for us. Focus on this area in whichever practice is correct for you. And if you want to add the silent internal mantra of Anahat Chakra, which is Yum, Yum, please do so. And then after your next exhalation or mantra, cease this technique, notice the effect, have a sense of your own compassion to yourself, have a sense of your own outward sense of love, feel your own joy, your own confidence. Have a sense of both these chakras operating for you in your life. Oh. Then open your eyes.